Well, weather's not brilliant today, as you can see. I'm not sure you can see the rain. But here we are, we're in Coniston and we're on the way to Buck Pike and Grey Friar today. It's about what time we're on? Quarter past six in the morning. Don't be able to see me because of the light. Oh, here we go. Take a look at this. Hey. So, yeah, pull the kit out, waterproofs, top to bottom. The weather just isn't fantastic, it's a bit drizzly. Expecting kind of disappearing magic. And I'm kind of expecting a low cloud for the majority of the day. I'm gonna get wet, very wet, I can feel it. So, yeah, wait till we get a bit more light and I will check in with you guys in a bit. See you shortly. Disappearing mark again. Watch. Hopefully that's clear and you can see me. Um, right, so we're still going. As I say, we're here near Coniston, Old Man of Coniston, and the associated peaks around it. Just want to say thanks for coming back and watching again. God, this light is not flattering at all, is it? Yeah, really appreciate you coming back and watching me again. So we're trying to navigate through the um, through the dark and the drizzle and the mist and. Is that word? Yeah, ominousness. And, uh, trying to film as I go, given that there's no light, and I've got a head torch, which makes me look quite freaky. So, we'll crack on and uh, we'll check in with you shortly. Again, see you in a bit. Where are, we? where are we? Where are we? Brown Pike. We're heading to Brown Pike first, which is just to the south of Blind Town. So you're following the track from the car park where we stopped and it's just a straightforward run, straight path, can't miss it, weaves about a bit, but uh, yeah, I don't think we're all that far now. Ooh, yeah, my silhouette against the old cloud behind me. I think we'll plod on, do a bit more and I will check in with you guys shortly. Well hello, fun to see you guys here, just popping by. I thought I'd let you know there's some snow about. If that counts as snow. God, I'm myself, bloody hell. Yeah, if that counts as snow. Oh, bye. Oh, look at that. He's all handsome now, he's not got that bloody hood up. Okay, so the track we've been following is Walnut Car Road. So, yeah, follow that to the top of this um, saddle between. Um, a bit pants, the weather. Um, saddle between white scar and brown scar. So it's really defined the path. Oh, it's like a big cross in the grass. So left goes to white scar, we're going right. We're going to go to brown scar, which is that way. See that path there? It goes all the way up there. So on we go. Red light again. Ooh, getting a bit chilly now. Getting a bit of uh, altitude. Ooh, just to show you, spin you around. The snow. Well, not a great deal of it, but snow nonetheless. And we plod. Cloud rolling on by, getting a bit of altitude. But again, even though we're getting altitude, 
still quite warm. It's in the other. There we go. Yeah, it's still quite warm considering. I've not seen anybody here yet. Just thank you all for coming back and watching another video. Really, really appreciate it. If it's your first time watching the channel, thank you very much. I'd love a like and subscribe. Try and do these as much as I can. Oh, to the detriment of my health. Completely improve my health. Can't really make my mind up. Yeah, so thanks for coming back. And thanks for watching the first time. If you like me wandering around in the mist and the dark and the cloud, by all means, go check out my other videos. Plenty of those. And usually, a couple of them where I'm wandering around in the snow. When we have it. So hopefully today, I'll be taking off another three Wainwrights and um, by Paniston, by Paniston, by passing Coniston Old Man. And there's a couple around there I've already done anyway. But yeah, we'll bypass those, get another couple in, and uh, try and get up to 150. Right, let's bob on. Can't bob all day. Right, brown pike done. 682 metres, give or take an inch. A bit drizzly and grim up here, but what can you do? That's the latest trick. Right, let's crack on, get a book pike out, book pike out of the way. Come on. Well, that looks awful. Look at that. Big drop down there. Can't hardly see a thing. I don't think that drum's going there today. Going nowhere near. Never see the thing again. There's book pike done. Nice point. Right. Bit of pants in it. A bit of pants. I don't think it's going to be much cop weather today. Mm -hmm. Now I checked the weather on Thursday, it said it was going to be intermittently cloudy, clear, you know, hit and miss. Checked it yesterday and it just said it was going to be drizzle in the morning, probably till about midday and then it might clear at midday. But, as I said before, what can you do? What can you do? Come for the experience, come for the great outdoors. Unless you're uh, a summer hiker, you don't come for the weather. Not in the Lake District anyway. And 
here I am atop Dow Crag. 778 meters. Should we continue this journey? Yes, why not? Oh dear, runny nose. So we'll crack on to the next one. And I think at that point, my stomach's saying you need something to eat. And my mouth's saying I need something to drink. So away you go, lad. Let's get going. Yeah, on to Brim Fell next. And then on a clear day, you would have been able to see goat's water down there. Well, you would have been able to see something, but it ain't happening today. So, I sent the wife a picture of the, the view and the weather before. She just replied a second ago with a, whatever you want to call it, emoji. Uh, wincing, whinging, awful, worried, whatever emoji. She's all toasty in bed at home. Oh well. Never mind, Jan. I'm safe. You'll come across something called Easy Gully, which is that. People obviously make their way up or down there. Not what I call easy, but. Yeah, each to their own. That was a bit. Yeah, I don't think we'll venture down there. Down there. Yeah, not for me. Just disappears into nothingness. Right, at the top now, so this is the um, the saddle between Brimfell, which is over there, and Coniston, Old Man, which is there. So once you get to the top, you're facing due east, turn left and you head north. Yeah, you can't go far wrong, plenty of cairns knocking around to guide you. Alright, before I get even wetter, in light, the current conditions the awful weather, the drizzly rain, the fact I can't see sod all. There's normally a view there, but they must have moved it. All right. Um, yeah, so in light of all the uh, aforementioned events, sort me out. Um, I'm gonna call it a day. I mean, can't get the drone out. Not much to do picture wise, it's just too clagged in, really, really claggy. Um, so, from here where I am now, instead of ascending all the way up there, um, I'm going to nip down the side of here, try not to slide and slip, and then we'll go down to Levers Tarn, I believe it is, and then from there, should be able to take some pictures because I'll be below the cloud. We'll skirt around the tarn, head back towards the car, might dip into all, um, all the Coniston mine workings and stuff like that. Try and put a bit more content into the video. Uh, shame. What a shame really. But the weather did say it was going to be hit and miss. So let's uh, try and navigate it way down. You can see. Oh there's a path. Thank God. Um, navigate our way down here. And I'll check in with you guys. Thanks for your patience by the way. Checking with you guys when I get to the town. Cheers, bye. Here we are, the descent. Very, very, very slippery this, by the way. As well as loose scree and your feet. Pick your way down very carefully. Points of contact are needed, I think. Ooh. Ooh, plenty of 
snow around here. I'm on the shift, does it? One minute's gone, minute's back. Really, really low down as well. It's not conducive to nice views today. There's a lot of moisture in the air as well. That drizzle in there, it talks you through. But now, it's probably steep. Just, just about me, I'll leave the sound. Yeah. Alright, that's me, back of the car. Took me hair out. That was an okay little walk, that. Considering I cut half of it off, or a portion of it off, at least. So, I'll put the route for View Ranger in the description for the video. I will put all the little gubbins in the corner so that you can see whereabouts in the route I was. Um, yeah, I can't think of anything else. So, if you like the video and you want to see more of the content, then by all means like and subscribe and thank you very much for watching to this point it was a bit pants weather wise but we got there in the end so i'll see all you guys later i'm gonna get this wicket off get myself home nice and early because i finished this early and go for a nice car for 50. i'll see you next time cheers guys bye